Hi guys, it's Tommy Allen here from Lookers and Ellesmere Port. Today we're going to revisit a previous video. That was the electric parking brake video we did in the Sofia Tora. Hi guys, Alan from Lookers here. Today we're going to talk about electronic parking brake, how to use it and how do they work. So to do that we're going to need a car that has electronic parking brake, so we're going to use the Sofia Tora. Now the reason we're going to do that is in the Grand Land, the Insignia, cars like that, they have a newer version of the electric parking brake which has a little bit of a difference at the end. So I want to do two things, I want to go back through the electric parking brake and show you what the differences are between a handbrake and an electronic parking brake, but I also want to show you what the differences are between the newer electronic parking brake and the old one which we used in the Safira. So to do that we're going to use this which is the Grand Land X Sport Nav. This is your first visit to our channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with our future content. And in the comments section below, let me know what car you have that has an electronic parking brake. So what's the difference between a handbrake and an electric parking brake? Simply put, when you pull the handbrake lever up, two cables that run to each of the rear brakes use tension to squeeze the pads and the discs together. And that holds the car in place. The electric parking brake replaces the mechanical system with an electric one that electronically squeezes the pads and discs. You get an indication light on the dash and you get a reassuring noise from the back to know it's active. So what we're going to do is manually show you how to deactivate and reactivate the electronic parking brake. So the engine's running, our foot's on the brake and that's it. The electronic parking brake is on, so all you do, simply using the button down here, is press down. You'll hear that little distinctive noise. The electronic parking brake symbol has disappeared from the dash and you'll actually feel a bit of resistance as the pedal pushes up against your foot. To reactivate it again, simply pull up on the little switch, you'll hear that little noise again and the P symbol has reappeared and that's it. Okay, now we're going to show you how to do it by simply driving the car away. So the electronic parking brake is still on. I've selected first, my foot is off the brake. Now we are on a bit of an incline here so I'll show you in a little bit that if the handbrake wasn't on we will just normally roll forward. I'm now going to find the bike. As you can see, I'm not touching anything. There's that noise, and we're driving away. Nice and simple. We're going to reactivate the electronic parking brake. There's that noise again. We're now going to select reverse gear, and we're going to do exactly the same. And there you go, we're reversing back. So the, you can actually do it in reverse, as well as driving the car forward. Nice and simple. So we've reached our destination. Now with the Sofira, we would have had to lift up the electronic parking brake manually to park us up. What I'm going to show you the biggest difference with the Grand Land X is it does it automatically for you. So we're in first, we're just going to get the car rolling a little bit, taking it out of gear so I don't stall, and I'm just going to turn the engine off. There you go, nice and simple. The electronic parking brake on the Grand Land automatically locks the calipers once the engine's turned off. So that's great for safety. You don't have to worry yourself that when you're in the house that you forgot to turn the electronic parking brake on. Absolutely brilliant. Okay, so the biggest differences between the Zafira and the Grandland X is that the Grandland will automatically reactivate the electronic parking brake once the engine's turned off. And that's absolutely fantastic. So thanks for watching. Hope you liked the other video and you liked this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you again.